Smart House is a very peculiar film, but also a very forward-thinking film. And that's because it's all about a smart house. This was released in 1999. And obviously would have been produced probably the year previously because it was released in the middle of 1999. So the fact that this film could guess the smart house that we're all, well, some of us are going to be having over the next decade or so is quite incredible. Now that's not to say that what happens is exactly what's happening now or what's in development. This was directed by LeVar Burton and written by William Hudson and Stu Krieger. And the description is as follows. This is from IMDb. A teenager wins a fully automated dream house in a competition, but soon the computer controlling it begins oh, soon the computer controlling it begins to take over and everything gets out of control. Then teenage Ben must calm the computer named Pat. So basically it is very much like a person living in the house. I mean, first of all, the fact that a teenager has won a house is bizarre and just really sets up the tone for the entire film. But it's so bizarre that it's quite enjoyable because it's really outrageous. Some of the predictions it's made are pretty spot on. Some of them are not that realistic. It's certainly not where we're going to be within the next decade. The house very much is a person of its own. This house, Pat as a person, is the house. The house has a personality. It can do virtually anything if you wanted a room redecorated you just have to tell the house that's what you wanted and it would do it really that's the dream that is the dream and if this house did exist it would be incredible but obviously as the description suggested it's not without its flaws and suddenly we see things going wrong with the house and it questions our reliance on technology and it may make you question whether or not we should trust technology so the acting is fine. Pat is voiced by Katie Siegel, who does, you know, I think Seagal's brilliant. Um, ben is played by Ryan Miriam and is our protagonist. He's really likeable, really relatable, really infectious when he's happy or when he's sad. You kind of feel his emotions. Across the board, the entire cast is fine. Nobody felt miscast. Nobody was giving a bad performance. The narrative development is pretty good. It all happens quite quickly. The pacing is really good. Nothing feels rushed. Nothing feels forced. But a lot of it does feel quite ludicrous. But it's good fun. And there's always the question of what is the house going to do next? It's not a completely groundbreaking film. But I do think it's very cleverly done. We have some great technology. Some lovely editing. Getting to know the house is really interesting. It will make us question a lot about our use of technology. And it's just a really nice, fun, family-friendly film that is a nice way to pass an hour and a half, or however long it is, um, an hour and 22 minutes, without needing to think too much about anything overly complicated. I enjoyed the time I want I spent watching it. It's unlikely that I'd watch it again, just because it's nothing overly fantastic. But I'm pretty confident in saying that I would be happy...